I want to tell you about the single most terrifying. So I want to tell you. So I want to share with you the single most terrifying moment. Ah, most terrifying. So I want to share with you the single most terrifying moment I've had to date in my career. It all started back in 2012 when I was working for a photography company as their lead video producer. This was a job that I really lobbied for. I joined this company as a result of taking a freelance project with them initially and getting to go to New York City with them and shoot video of a convention they were doing and spend some time in the city and just see a lot of really cool stuff. And after that, I knew they were gonna be taking future trips like that and I thought, I wanna do this, this is, this is me, this is what I wanna do. Fast forward about six months and we all realized that just wasn't what that company needed, it wasn't a good fit, I wasn't a good fit with who I was working for. That position ended up being eliminated. Two days later, I'm sitting at dinner with some friends and I get a phone call. It's a Friday evening. The phone rings, I pick up, I say hello, and I hear on the other end of the line, hi, my name is Samantha, you don't know me, but do you like money? No, of course I like money, but who is this? Who's calling me? I don't understand, like, this is this a joke? Is this somebody messing with me? I just got laid off from a job, I need money, is somebody screwing with me? So I really didn't know what to think. She was a wedding planner who was currently at a wedding where they had a videographer, but the videographer got fired during the rehearsal for things that I won't go into on this video. But that meant they needed somebody to fill that position. Samantha had gotten my name from a mutual friend and called me when she needed a video person. And after talking for a little bit, I said, I, I've never done a wedding. In fact, I had promised myself that I would never even touch a wedding with a 10 foot pole. It's too much stress, too much anxiety. That's not what I wanted to do. Even during the conversation with Samantha, I had all these voices saying, you can't do this. You're not experienced enough. You've never done a wedding. You don't know what you're doing. You can't do this. But I had one voice saying, not only you can do this, but you have to do this. And that was my bank account. Because remember, I was out of a job. And here's a job. And who am I to say no to somebody who wants to give me money to use talents that I have? So after 30 minutes of talking, I finally agreed uh, to do this. We agreed on a price from Friday night to the next Saturday morning when I hit record on my camera for the first time, I was terrified. I mean, absolutely terrified. Doing a wedding was one of the most horrifying things I could imagine with everything that could potentially go wrong, equipment failures, um, messing up something, me knocking over the cake with one of my tripods, everything that could possibly go wrong raced through my mind in those 12 hours that I had from accepting the job to actually doing the job the next day. We started shooting in the uh, bride's hotel room and once the day got started, I mean, I was still nervous, but the, the activities picked up. There was a little too many things going on for me to actually have time to be nervous. We got to the end of the day and I'm just thinking, wow, I can't, I can't believe I did this. I don't know if I ever want to do this again. Uh, I took a few weeks to edit the video. Uh, still nervous about, you know, what, what is exactly expected from, uh, from this kind of thing. And uh, I finished the video and I first gave it to Samantha, the wedding planner, who hired me because I wanted her to see it. She was my first contact for this wedding. I wanted her to see it and give me an opinion about what she thought. She liked it. She thought it was great. Uh, said to go ahead and send it to the bride. So I sent it to the bride. The bride loved it. So that was a breath of fresh air, but I was still riding the coattails of um, just how nervous I was that day. Everything turned out great. Um, but man, that 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 day, the the amount of stress that I had, the amount of worry that went through my brain all day was just unbelievable. A couple weeks later, maybe a couple months later, Samantha calls me again, 
hey, I've got another wedding. Can you do it? And I still, as soon as she said that, I'm like, I, I can't say no, but oh my goodness, do I not want to do this? But again, I'm in a position where I am not working uh, another job. So I said, sure, I'll take it. And that wedding, it went off, uh, it went off great. Again, um, there was a lot more, there were a lot more obstacles to get through in that wedding because it was in, I want to say, November or December. And so it got dark really fast and we didn't have a lot of time to get um, shots with the bride and the groom or anybody kind of in the daylight. So, so that was a bit tough. I finished the video, I edited it, sent it off to the bride and she loved it. And that's really how my career in wedding films and later on wedding photography got started was this relationship that I formed with Samantha. Samantha Redont, by the way, with BNR Events and um, shoot, BNR Events and what's your what's your other company? I never can remember company's name. BNR Events and RSVP. That's what it is. Samantha Redont with BNR Events and RSVP. There you go. Sorry, Samantha. I love you. And so that's really how my career in the wedding film industry and eventually photography got started was that one phone call uh, bringing me into a last minute position that I probably wasn't qualified at all to do other than knowing the technical aspects of creating a video. Um, so that was why that was the most frightening moment so far in my career. But it's turned out to be one of the most rewarding moments of my entire career that I now look back on and laugh at and smile about that that was what it took to get me to where I am today in creating uh, wedding films and wedding photography. So one thing I did fail to mention that hopefully was obvious at the end of that story, but let me go ahead and clarify, is that I am not terrified of weddings anymore. In fact, I am really excited at the idea that I am the person responsible for capturing that memory of that day. You know, in six months, a couple's gonna remember everything about that day and all the details, all the, all the moments, everything. In five years, they are gonna remember a lot of it, maybe not every aspect of it, but the big moment they're gonna remember. In 20 years, it's likely that they are not going to have much of any memory in their brains of that day other than the really big moments of the day. So to be able to take my video or my photos and 20 years later, go back, look at those and be able to transport yourself back into that moment by looking at my videos and my photos, that really excites me and it's something that I no longer am terrified about and I'm actually super excited about being able to provide that for the couples that I get to work with. I just wanted to share with you uh, that story. That's how I got into the wedding business. Uh, I thought that was a great story to share for my first video. And this is gonna be hopefully a series of videos that are just kind of behind the scenes about my wedding business and maybe even some aspects of my personal life that get intertwined into the wedding business and maybe some aspects of my other uh, non-wedding business, which, which is Ayers Productions. Um, we may talk about that a little bit if I go on any adventures. I've got some cool stories I want to share. I want to talk about gear that I use. I want to talk about processes that I do when it comes to editing wedding films or shooting the day of, ways I back things up so if there's any brides or couples watching, they can kind of get an idea for how I archive things and back up things so you know you won't lose footage when the day's over and I go home. Um, I want to share cool stories about like when I got to shoot a wedding in Europe this past summer, which was just, I mean, who gets to shoot weddings in Europe and get paid for it? I mean, one of the most epic experiences of my life. And uh, I'll share a story about that uh, at some point. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, I'd love for you to subscribe and share this link with friends. And uh, until next time.